Good morning. Today is April 3rd, 2017. Welcome to Tom's Tech Tips. My name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations at Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. This is episode number 22. In today's episode, we're going to go over how you can maintain a calendar uh, that your parents could easily have access to on their devices. More and more, we're finding that uh, parents, uh, in order to keep track of uh, their schedules, their uh, children's crazy schedules, uh, more and more parents have um, iPhones, smartphones, uh, some type of smart device. And that smart device typically includes a calendaring function. So what we're going to show you is how you can create a calendar uh, inside of the Google Calendar and share it uh, so you could send a link to your parents, uh, the parents of the children in your class, and they can have uh, immediate up-to-date access to all of the events that you schedule. Um, let's get started. So I'm just going to move my picture over here. Sorry, that's out of the way. Um, so we're in your calendar. Uh, if, you, if you don't know how to get into your calendar, um, when you're in your Gmail, um, you can click on the app launcher there and then click on calendar uh, and that'll bring up your calendar. So we've got that open already. So the first thing you want to do is you probably want to create a separate calendar because you might have uh, meet your own meetings on your uh, regular calendar that you don't necessarily want to share with the parents. So let's go ahead and create a new calendar. On the left hand side here where you see my calendars, if we click on that arrow we can click on create new calendar. And uh, so we need to name the calendar so let's just call it uh, classroom calendar. You can certainly come up with something more creative if you'd like. Uh, you can apply a description if you'd like although it's not necessary. Uh, the time zone is correct, and uh, we're good to go. So we could just click on Create Calendar. Okay, so that's it. Um, so we now have a calendar that um, we can now share with our parents. So the first thing we need to do is, uh, on the left-hand side here, we see uh, here's my calendar, some birthdays, here's the classroom calendar. Uh, so if we click that, it's in uh, red once we start putting events there. So let's go ahead and uh, create an event on our calendar. So we'll go ahead and click on the button there and an untitled event. So let's just say, I don't know, PSSA or PSSA. And let's say that that is on the 5th. And we'll say that's from uh, 9 to 10 o'clock or 10.30. Um, right here where it says calendar, we can click there and we could say put it on the classroom calendar and that's it. We can hit save. So now we have an event from 9 to 1030 uh, that says PSSAs and you can see that it's red uh, so we do know that it's on our classroom calendar. For some of your events, um, let's say uh, crazy, let's do crazy t-shirt day. So let's say that's on the 6th. So if we click anywhere on the 6th, uh, that's another way that you could create an, appoint, uh, an appointment right away. Um, we can go crazy t-shirt day. Okay. And again, we'll put that on the classroom calendar. Let's uh, edit the event here. Okay, so we have 6 to 7. Maybe uh, that isn't a particular time. Uh, it's not occurring at a particular time during the day, so we'll just simply click on all day event. Uh, so on 4-6 to 4-6, it's crazy t-shirt day. Uh, we made sure that the classroom calendar is selected there, and we'll go ahead and click on save. So that put that up the top of the calendar there. And we'll do uh, one more thing. So let's uh, create another uh, event. If we click up here in the top, um, that by default will do an all-day event. And let's do bring your favorite book to school. Again, let's make sure to select that correct calendar and click on Create. All right, so we have a, uh, a couple of events on our classroom calendar. Um, and you could do that for the rest of the year. You could do it as frequently or infrequently as you'd like, um, week by week, month by month, day by day, whatever you'd like. Uh, once your parents have access to the calendar, they will get these updates immediately. So let's uh, let's go ahead and show you show you how you can share the calendar. So next to the classroom calendar, if you hover over it, you'll see an arrow there. You can go ahead and click on that arrow, okay, and then you could click on share this calendar. 
Okay. And now what we want to do is we do want to share this calendar with others and we do want to make the calendar public. And we will allow people to see all event details. Some other, uh, another setting you could do is see only free busy information. That really wouldn't be useful in this case uh, as we want them to be able to see the actual event. So let's uh, go ahead and leave it as see all event details. And we'll go ahead and click on save. And uh, that's just saying making your calendar public uh, will make events visible to the world, including by Google search, are you sure? Uh, in this particular case, we're going to click yes. I would advise you not to put anything on there that is uh, confidential uh, in nature. Um, so just the normal things that you would normally put on a print calendar that you would uh, share with people. Uh, so um, things like crazy shirt day um, or uh, bring a book to school day. No specific information. You're not mentioning any kids uh, specifically. Um, just general uh, information. All right, so now that the calendar is shared, uh, if we right click it one more time, uh, I mean click on the arrow one more time, I apologize, and click on calendar settings, there's a lot of information here. Uh, if we scroll down a little bit, you'll see calendar address and you'll see something that says iCal. That's what we want. We want that iCal link. Okay, so if we go ahead and click on that, it says please use the following address to access your calendar from other applications. So what we are going to do is if I right click on that link, I'll say copy link address. So now that's in my clipboard. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now let's say you're going to let your parents know about uh, this new calendar that you're making available to them. So we could go ahead and we could click on compose. Okay, and we can send a message to um, your parents. Uh, so I have a test parent account here. And you could just list all of your parents there. Uh, I'm just going to put the one uh, and we'll say um, virtual calendar. And you can mention something in there um, that um, um, I am keeping an electronic calendar this year. So, so on and so forth. And spelled electronic wrong. Let's fix that. All right. Um, and you can uh, say, uh, click on this link from a smartphone or other device to subscribe to our classroom calendar. And paste that in there. Let's move my picture out of the way here. All right, uh, so we got a uh, message off to them, a subject, uh, body of the message, and that link to that calendar. So let's go ahead and click on send. All right, um, so we're good there. Uh, so now let's switch over to um, being a parent. Uh, so let's uh, get situated here. So I'm going to bring up a uh, parent's phone here. Let's see, right there. All right, so let's say we are looking at a, uh, a parent's phone right now, and they have uh, they go into their uh, email application, uh, and they see a new message. Uh, so they could go ahead and click on that, and they have the message from you uh, saying that they're keeping an electronic calendar. I click on this link from a smartphone, so on and so forth, and you can see that that link there is uh, hyperlinked. It's under, underlined in blue, so if we go ahead and click on that, You'll get prompted uh, asking you which browser you'd like to use. We'll just use Safari in this case. And there's a message there. Do you want to subscribe to the calendar? Uh, we will say yes, we want to subscribe. And then it says that the calendar has been added. Uh, do you want to view the events or hit done? Uh, we'll, we will view those events. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, I must have uh, double clicked that. We'll just click cancel to subscribe again. All right, uh, so we are subscribed uh, to the calendar. Uh, here is our calendar. So let's go through some of the dates. So I don't see anything on the 3rd. I don't see anything on the 4th. I think we started on the 5th, right? Here we go. Uh, so when we click on the 5th, uh, we can see that the PSSAs are that day. And when we click on the 6th, we see that it's Crazy T-Shirt Day. And the 7th, uh, Bring Your Favorite Book to School Day. 
Um, so it's a quick, easy way that you can create and manage a calendar that is immediately made available to all of your parents on their smart devices. Uh, there's other ways that you can um, subscribe to this, subscribe to the calendar, and I'll put some uh, links in the uh, show notes below. Uh, that way you can uh, get familiar with how you uh, might subscribe to calendars from other types of devices. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know below and I'll try to answer them all, uh, as well as if you have any suggestions for future topics. Um, that, that wraps up uh, this topic. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again next time. Bye.